So today we begin logging in earnest. We have $106,000, but we have a was a $200,000 loan. I don't. It's like one day goes by, man, and I just don't remember <laughs> my life. Uh, $150,000 loan. We need to pay that off. Get back in the the green or the white, the black, if you will. Uh, and um, so the trees. There's man. Some of these trees are pretty short, but we went with the six meter, so we should be okay. I don't. We're just going to cut every, everything goes down. Everything. Sorry about that. Had a text I had to take care of. All right. So we are going to move into the woods here. And we're just going to start taking these close trees down. I love this Komatsu. This thing is great. And uh, I love the new aiming towards the tree. You just hold the left bumper and press down on the direction pad. All right, so let's cut this. We're in position now. And we're going to back out. You know, I don't think I ever bought a stump grinder, did I? I, I seem to be doing that quite frequently. I want that arm to go up. There we go. And we're not going to need to yard this one because we're already in the yard. Um... So let's go ahead and cut this. I should have checked the settings first. Those are right. Those are six meter, but I think. Uh, they might be five. Oh, shoot. No, they were five. Dang it. Idiot. So those are going to be short. That sucks. Oh, well. I'm an idiot. that up and push this out pull it back once again as much of it as we can drag we will because obviously sorting the trees is going to be a bit of a task and the more we have sorted before we uh or once we cut down before we have to do all the yarding and stuff like if we can avoid work that's always the best That's a six meter. Dang it. And that's a nub. We'll put that over here. Actually, we'll get that and throw that away. These are going to have to go into some kind of trait. Remember we were talking about a uh, trailer or tipper? That's what I'm going to have to do with these. I'll chuck this over here. We'll keep, we'll, we'll use them. You know, if you get a truckload full of those, you get a couple thousand dollars, but, um, you know, you have to save them up and turn them in all at once. Some of those trees obviously are too small to cut down, but like this one, it's perfect. This has been pretty good so far. And voila, we already have probably a good ten, fifteen thousand dollars of wood right there. Now I'm not expecting it to take too long to clear this area off, but yeah, we're gonna definitely need to get a stump grinder. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I work all night and I sleep all day. Wait, oh, wait, come on. Oh, I ran over that stump. And once again, this goes to show why we need to get rid of those stumps at some point. We need to go this way. Pull it in. Raise it up. And a little bit more that way. It's a little close to the truck, but... Or the harvester. That's a nice big chunky log. Big chungus log. 
and that's going to be a, a dud. Nope, go this way. Other way. I don't think that'll be six, but no, just. That actually could, we actually could put that in with the other one, so maybe I'll. Can I pick that up by hand? I don't think I'll be able to, but we'll try it, see if it does. Um, nah, it's light. <laughs> I'll just put it in the cart right now. See, there was no, because it was the right length, even though it was a small piece, we didn't get a, a demerit, so that's good. Um, sometimes they want to punish you for having short ones. You know what game I've been playing on my Switch that I've been having fun with? Farmer's Dynasty. I forgot how much I enjoy that game. It's been about a year since I've played it. And uh, you guys know, that was a, it was a pretty popular series on the channel. I, I shouldn't have canned it. We had always a thousand viewers on that series, and so I do. That's one of those stupid regrets that, like, I'm like, why did I cancel that? Like, it was doing well, um, but you know, I'm trying to with with our time management stuff. Like, I'm really trying to, I don't know, be wise with my time and only do series that do well. But unfortunately, none of my series are doing super great right now. They're doing okay, but nothing to write home about gonna bring this in I need to it's too far out and I'm having a hard time steering it and I want to get it in line I want it in line with these other logs because obviously the more in line they are the easier they are to load so but unfortunately this is not going in the direction I wish it to go so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab the tractor and I sold the winch didn't I Oh, that's right. We have the trailer for Nubs. I forgot about that. <laughs> well, we can use this. Oh and, I, oh, and I got the stump grinder. I was thinking ahead for once. Look at that. <laughs> what the heck, man? I'm actually on it. <laughs> for once. <laughs> mm, come on, push. There we go. A little bit more on this end. That's a big tree. Push it. Push it. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, the stump's got it. Uh, well, we could do this, too. Hang on. Grab that. It's so quiet in this cabin. It's quiet as little... Little... Claw. The claw. I doubt we'll be able to lift this, but yeah, it's, but it was enough. Right about there, I think. Let's get out and double check. Uh, yeah, that's right where I want it to be. <laughs> Thank you, little guy. Oh, well, it's loose now, so it should be fine. Technically, <laughs> everything should be just fine. Is it long enough? It is. Indeed. Keep this guy locked and loaded in case we need him. Super boom. Kaboom. All right, there we go. Back to the woods.
What's the message? Is that tree too big? I think this tree might be too wide for us to cut. It'll tell us. The tree is too thick for this machine. Okay. Now, we may end up taking that one down by hand. I don't know. It seems like it's fine right now. Like, I don't think it'll be in any position. It's cool that it shows you red, though, so that you know. Like, hey, look, this isn't going to work. Yellow means that you can connect to it. Green means that you're connected. You got to get your truck connected. That's not what I wanted to do. Shoes and socks. But despite that, this Komatsu is a good little cutter. And for starting our business, it's just fine. I mean, heck, once again, these things cost $370,000. There's not, it's not a cheap unit. Um, the only one that can do bigger trees is the... Um, the one that does the biggest trees is the ITC, the um, Hannibal. And that machine is a pain in the butt to operate. I do not like the Hannibal one bit. This, thing, this tree is really heavy. Once again, I think we're going to have to give it a little bit of a push. Oh, I love that. Good job, New Holland. See, now when Kyle's with me, we'll be able to do this a lot faster because he'll be in that already pushing it, you know. And so that'll, that'll be good for us. Um, I'm going to back this up a little bit. <sighs> Dang it. That's not what I wanted to happen. But okay, it is what it is. That's a big load of logs, man. That's a nub. That one's not long enough. So we need to hop out and displace this. Probably not be able to pick that up by hand. Oh, nope. It's light enough. Once again, that'll go in our trailer. In the junk tipper. And uh, these got a little bit out of sorts, but that's okay. We'll push them back in. I'd say we'll do one more tree, and then we'll, we'll load up the container and see how we're doing on space. If we filled it up all the way, or if it needs some love. And we're going to move this guy up. He's going to be in the way if I bring a tree in from that side. I wish they had a tree mulcher. We have the stump grinder, but I wish we had a mulcher unit for that. The the uh, the DLC came with this nice um, uh, mulcher for the Volvo cranes. Uh, that one's too thick, so we can't do that one. So how about this guy right here? And uh, anyway, it's supposed to get rid of bushes and stuff too, so you can kind of... Like, where the brush is heavy, you can kind of clear it out and see what you're doing. And unfortunately for us, this this doesn't do that, so. But, that's alright. Life goes on. Raise it up. Bring it around. There we go. And cut it. And cut. And there we go. And that should be good enough for the, the moment. I'm going to park this guy over here. Well, that tree can come down, huh? It's so small. It seems like such a waste, but to get it out of the way, maybe it's a good thing. Let's, let's just get rid of this one real quick here. 
It'll make our view a little bit easier. There we go. Not much, though, huh? Ta-da! <laughs> All right, let's move this off. Oops. No, wait. What are you doing? Okay. Engine off. Right? Oh, no, it's still running. I'm hearing the yarder running. Good thing that doesn't take gas, because it seems to run all the time. We haven't even had to use the yarder. Nope, those won't come up there, so it's all right. I don't know if you guys saw what I was trying to do there. I was trying to push those up a little bit so that they would, uh, well, push up, but no dice. So we're going to pull this here. Uh, I need to put it somewhere where it's easy to get it out, <laughs> whip it out. And I'm hoping, I, I would think that we should be able to pick up a six meter log with this. I don't know, maybe it's going to be too small. And at that point, we're going to have to look at getting something bigger. But we should be able to handle one log at a time with this, one or two logs. Yeah, it's fine. You can see right there, even, even there I was able to pick it up, no problem. So, like lifting it without the front coming up. And that's what you got to, if you, if you see the front of the loader coming up, then that's a problem, but... This little guy should be just fine. Aww. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this thing's a little jumpy, but once again, it's got enough strength to pull the logs up. That's all I really care about. There we go. Open that up. Grab the begin. I'm so glad it does that automatically. What a pain in the butt that would be if it didn't. So I'm going to guesstimate this... I think when we did the testing on easy, the a single load from the nine foot container was about a hundred and thirty thousand dollars. So the hope is that this one will be, I don't know, if, uh, probably like seventy five. I would think, or maybe fifty. We'll have to see. It's not half the size, so we should get. We'll get a third less. Uh, Sorry, I'm going to push these down a little bit so they're, I, they're in the, the grab zone where I'm working. That's not really what I wanted them to go, but that's where they went anyway. Or where I wanted them to go. Oh, come on. <laughs> Too much weight. Do it in smaller pieces, Arthur. There we go. Nice little pieces. Let the logging commence. All right. That should do. It's a little bit of a mess, but once again, we're only picking them up one one or two at a time, so that's not a big deal. And then we'll go through and get all these stinking stumps out so we have... Then we can even expand our parking lot a little bit, so... Because as we get near the edge of the hill, we're going to have to get the yarder over closer to the edge, so. Well, that was lovely. 
<laughs> and this is about how it goes when Arthur does lumber. He's not very good at it. Not really lumber, but loading. It's a little awkward since you have to put them in on the side, but it actually, once you get used to it, it actually works pretty well. And it's fairly easy to do. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get this loaded up. Hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm, I'm having fun putting this together. So I will finish up and I'll see you in just a few minutes. Man, it is so close. This thing is... I've got, it might, I think it might hold 19,000 liters. We are right on the edge. Ugh. I think I'm going to finish it. So let's go, hang on real quick. There's a couple trees that were too big to cut. Um, but see, the problem is we're not going to be able to process them either. So I almost don't want to waste the wood. Plus, it's going to be really difficult to move. So eh, never mind. We're just going to grab the harvester. I'll grab literally one more tree should do it. Um, let's go and grab one more. That was pretty easy to load. I think it took me maybe like six or seven minutes to to do the loading. That was not bad at all. Um, and then we're going to go down and uh, we're going to take this down and uh, sell it. So uh, we should. I'm going to try to pull them off the top plateau here first before we start going down into the forest. Um, because start the harvester. Uh, I don't want to um, we got to make sure we check the length. Six. Yep. Um Because I want to, it's easier, to, we'll work up here and then we'll work our way down. That one's too big. It's so big. That's too big. So either those can be done by hand. And we'll have to get a measuring tool. I think Kyle probably knows of one. He usually is pretty, uh, like he knows what's going on with the logging stuff. Because he really likes the logging. So hopefully he'll, he'll have a, uh, a hint for us. Nope. Try again. That got weird. And we're going to go ahead and cut. Oh, did it not grab it? Oh, weird. I find once in a while these trees, and this tree is cuttable. I don't know why it's having a hard time cutting it. Maybe I need to be more on even ground. Let's see, put that up, bring it back, put it up, bring it back. Let's try grabbing it from a different angle, but it shouldn't matter, honestly. That's weird that it wouldn't let us do it. But we'll cut from this side and see what happens. There we go. I don't know, that was bizarre. I'm not sure exactly why it did that. Now, I think this one we're going to probably... Let's see. I don't know if I can... I'm going to try to drag it out of here, but if we get stuck, I'm probably going to have to just cut it where it's at. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Um, try going this way. Mm, I might have got out. Yep, there we go. Good. Okay. We're starting to get into that area where the yarder is going to come in handy. <laughs> Oops. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, bad driving. Could, would you expect anything less from me? Really? <laughs> We're going to raise this up. Back up this way, pull it in closer. Well, that is a heavy tree. I don't think we're going to get all these in that container. That was a lot bigger tree than I thought. It didn't look that big in the woods, but man. Just got to go by tonnage, right?
at this last piece over here while getting this out of the way. set their car alarm off. <laughs> I do that all the time. The trunk open button is right next to the panic button and I'm always like, oh, oh man, oops. Right, so let's grab these last couple logs and hopefully this tractor will have enough hood spot to get the, the tipper or the uh, container down. No, it's not full yet. Wow, that's crazy. Um, there we go. Something happened and I got... I want this specific law... Oh, forget it. I wanted that specific log because it's smaller, and if I go over, I don't want to waste. You know what I mean? Like, there'll be some waste involved if I pick that bigger one. And crap, they just flip-flopped with the other one. Urgh. Stop it. <laughs> there. <laughs> it's like a toothpick. I like the way he's got his little... No! God dang it. Frig. Tastic. So this must hold 12... I'm thinking that that container holds 12 tons. That must be the way of it. It's not full yet? Ugh. Now it's still 10 tons. Crap. So maybe 22,000 liters? Uh, oh well, it's going to go to waste. It might say not enough wood. I don't know how it's going to hit. It probably will just suck it in and waste it, but whatever. It's not full yet. 21.7. It's going to take 22. I can guarantee it. Let's throw some let's throw some crappy logs at it just to to finish it off. <laughs> Shoot, I can't do it cuz this is in the way. Oh, get in. Nope. Okay, so that thing is that's as full as it's gonna get. It won't let it it won't take any more. So I mean I guess that's good in a way. Um so we're done. Let's close that up. We're gonna move this guy off a little bit. Sweet. Something's running still. Oh the yarder. Put the uh, we can put this away. Nah. Mm. Yeah, because I'm not we're gonna turn that off. That way, it's not wasting energy. And I'm gonna put that up. And now we gotta figure out how to get this thing out of here. So we're gonna hopefully just make a nice, easy U around this tree, not getting stuck on any stumps or branches. There we go. There's a stump. Watch that. And we'll go ahead and turn our hazards on because we're gonna be on the road. Probably the headlights too for safety. All right, let's head down to the sale. Let's see who's, I think usually the container store is the best price for these, but let's just, what's for sale, by the way? Nothing logging. I'll tell you what, I started my Twitch multiplayer series. <laughs> oh, gosh. I, the first vehicle I was able to get, I was able to get that John Deere Feller Buncher for $140,000. That was uh, just under half off. I was like, oh, it was such a good price. All right, where's wood? Wood. Those prices aren't very good. The container warehouse. Hang on a sec. So they're close, but but not that close, really. Honestly, it's way more. Like, the next one is $500. Price is going down. That is a flexible or fluctuating commodity, so you got to watch. Um, you may even want to, like, as prices go up and down, and we'll have to see how it goes with the year. 
Uh, we might even want to hold on to containers for a while and stack them until we get like a good price. If we're being real fussy about it. But then again, we'll start having industries where we're making products. So that's going to, we need to get into that pretty quick. So I want to get the loan paid off and then we'll look at industries. So if you've never been, we're going to ride down to the shop. We'll go for a ride together since I want to take you for the first time down. I won't make you go with me every time. I thought you guys would have fun seeing the, the route that we have to take. Oh, Lord, I forgot about this hill. Uh, six gear. Well, we're still safe. I'm going to drop it down to third. Let's see what happens. He's going to shift automatically. No, there we go. We're staying in third. Not a fifth. Ugh, he should have stayed in third. So you can see on the map where we are. Uh, I don't think we own that section of land where we are at right now. We own everything behind it. Ah, well. Stay in third. Quit shifting. Ugh. Oh, well. We're making it up the hill. It just, it's... What is cruise control? I forget. Oh. There. I should have stopped. That was stupid. Oh god, our gates are down. Well, I know I put I know I put those up. I must have just done that when I was trying to find the control. Come on, baby, you can do it. <laughs> We're almost to the top of the hill. We're maintaining six miles an hour. The wheels aren't slipping. That's good. But uh, you can see why this poor tractor is taking a beating. Uh, we need to go this way. Oh! winding all over the road. Now from here, it's not too far. Start breaking here. I'm going to attempt to stop before the train tracks. Yep, there we go. No train that way. No train that way. There is traffic, though. Shoot, I should have waited. No train. No train. No train. Okay, there we go. We survived. <laughs> uh. So I wonder how much we're going to get. Let's see. Once again, 33,000 tons was roughly $120,000. So I'm hoping that, you know, 22,000 tons should be close to 100. Maybe 75 or 80,000, somewhere around there. But we're about to find out. So there's no use worrying about it. What a neat little setup, though. This, this works out well for us. I wish that the container fit a little bit better on our flatbed, but it's honestly, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's fine. It's perfect. Meow. Perfect. That's interesting to have traffic going two ways there. I, that's kind of cool. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen that before. So we have arrived at the location. And that's the road that goes over to the iron ore mine. 
All right. $79,000. My guesstimate was close. That's not bad. All right, so I'm going to head back into town. I'll meet you there. We're going to pick up another uh, container and start all over again. Oh, and by the way, once we once we buy this container, whatever's left over, we're going to go ahead and pay that loan off. And then we're at before... So one load did it. We were able to pay the loan off in one load. And now anything that we make from this point forward is pure profit. And that'll be great because after the next after the next round, we can buy an industry. Um, so we have one more container and, and I'll be able to buy something in town um, that makes something, I think. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what industries take raw lumber. Um, and we can sell them raw lumber. And then we can start making products at those places. I don't think we get paid for the raw lumber, but we can give them raw lumber. Um, and um, start making materials that we can sell, or products that we can sell. Now the downside is, I think we'll need a log tipper thingy. Uh, I need to turn here. Um, to do that, there is... Oh, wait, no, we're going to the shop. Rats, I went the wrong way. Um, not a log tipper. We're going to we're gonna need one of those, yeah, like the upright log trailers. I don't think you can take containers to the... We'll have to test it. Um, I'll, I'll, we'll take a, take a container to an industry and see if we can... If it counts. Because if it does, then we can actually unload stuff there. But I don't think it does. So we'll have to try and see. But I think what people were saying was that they, the containers only sell at the container checkpoints. Um, so, so that's that. I'll be back. All right, I'm at the shop, and I'm just getting this. Uh, uh, <laughs> getting this on the forks. And the doors are on the other side, so we're going to back this up here. this. Let's see if I do this. I want it to scrape against these back. Like the fur the farthest back I can get it is the best we can do. That's what I want to do. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. It's still going to sit a little bit on Oh, it's so touchy. No. What the frick? Sticky can sticky carton? Ah. There we go. Let's check for centering and make sure that it is centered. It needs to go over to the other side a little bit. This is going to be a tug of war. <laughs> uh, it's not so bad. It went a little too far over on the back end, though. But we're going to so we're going to just give it a little tiny tap. Mm, there we go. That's perfect. OK. And I want to go ahead and strap that down so it doesn't slide. You know, how it is things on this game slide all over the place. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and strap that there are our, our we'll just do all the straps. That one's weird, so we won't do that one, but... Ta-da! Locked and loaded, ready for business. While we're in town, let's take a real quick look around and see what we have as far as businesses go. Um, 
There's a bunch of stuff over here that we can purchase and use. Let's see what you got. What do we have here? Natural pet comforts. Pet accessories factory. Um, so what is that? See, here's the problem. I don't know what these take. What if we look at the construction menu? If it has, let's see, if we have um, production, are they in here? Oh, yes, they are. So we have a wood turner. They take lumber. They take planks and trees and make this. Okay. That's, I think, what this is. No, that's not pet accessories. Shingle factory takes boards. Art accessories factory. They make, okay, that kind of stuff. But they, boards. Or I'm think I think these are boards or planks. Pet accessories take woolen boards. Flooring factory takes like logs and boards, maybe, or I'm not sure what shingles and boards. I'm not sure what that is. Um we got steel, we got a furniture factory. That's cool. I think we've had furniture, but not with the one that takes steel. Um Barrel factory, steel and planks, um, and that's about it. So we got our steel mill. That's a great way to make money, by the way. Um, and we have a paper factory. That's already on the map. Okay, the paper factory is expensive. It takes trees and makes paper. Um so really, that's the only one that takes raw wood and makes. So it looks like we're going to have to save up and buy a sawmill first. Um, which I think the sawmills are really expensive. What is this bakery? Bakery, carpentry. Yeah, same difference. Dairy. I know the sawmills on this map are exorbitantly expensive, so I was hoping to find one in here that's smaller that we can build ourselves, but it looks like not so much. I thought you could buy a sawmill. Am I crazy? I know we had purchasable sawmills before. But maybe not for this map. Huh. Call me crazy. You guys are seeing it for yourselves. There's no sawmill here. Weird. But that just must be how it is on this map. So anyway, we have all these things, but none of these... We can't really use any of these except for the paper factory. So I'm not sure if I'm willing to buy the paper factory first. I think the sawmill would be a better investment. So let's take a real quick look at the sawmill. Um, I pressed the wrong button. There's there's two sawmills. There's old sawmill and sawmill. Uh, let's go ahead and visit these places. I don't think you can buy... I don't think you can buy this one. You can buy lumber here. But I'm pretty sure this one's not available for sale. We'll walk around a little bit. So this is the main sawmill. Um, and in my in my searching around this, I have not seen that you can buy this. So I don't think that we can get this. Um, nothing. And if anywhere, it would be in this building here because this is the main building. So, so no. Anything inside there that we see? Nope, nothing. Well, that's interesting that we have this huge building here. So, no, you can't buy this. Can't buy this building. All right. Old Sawmill is up here, and I think that you can buy this, but I think it's really ex Oh, yeah, here it is. Oh, 
So what is that? Uh, 70, so let's say 80,000, 160. That's not horrible. That's about four, four containers to purchase this. Um, and then we can start producing our own stuff. So we've, we've got some work to do, but this is not too far out of reach, but it is, it's a stretch. But this is our first move because from here, we can then start to produce planks and boards. And then we can start buying other industries and selling those. And we can just sell them outright too. So let's aim for this next. Um... Or should we aim for the steel mill next? I don't know. I'll I'll talk to Kyle and see what he wants to do. We'll figure that out. Um, so anyway, I'm going to take this back up to the the uh, our starting point. And I will be right back. All right. So I've arrived back at the homestead and um we've got some clearing to do but we'll do that in another episode so first things first we are going to pay that debt off we were able to take out a loan use the equipment from that loan and then return the loan the same day without actually accruing any interest Now, that does not leave us with much money, but I don't need much money right now. I've got everything I need to operate, so the next move is just to get more logs and um, and get that, sell it, and then we'll have $100,000. So, it's not, it, before before even probably noon today, maybe, maybe a little bit after, but right around noon, we should be able to make another 80,000 bucks, so... Yeah, as you saw, that didn't take too long at all. In fact, I've been recording for about 50 minutes and working for about an hour. So it was about an hour's time. Not bad at all. I'm just going to collect this junk wood and get it out of the way. I might just leave this tipper here. Because that makes sense. To have it near. It'll probably take a couple turns to fill this up, but let's go ahead and grab this. These should be about the same length as the tipper. Yep. Perfect. And we'll just chuck these in here and then call it a day. So, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. I definitely had fun making it. In the next exciting episode, I'm, I believe, hopefully, Kyle will be joining me. And we'll be continuing doing our mountain lumber here. And uh, we will, in the Pacific Northwest, the gorgeous state of Washington, probably. I think it's Washington. They certainly look like Washington license plates, but it could also be Oregon. I think the developer said for sure, though, it's in Washington. So we are, as I had said in my tour video, it really looks like the middle of Washington, like kind of out near the Aberdeen area where all the logging takes place. Maybe a little bit north of that. Um, cool. So. Ladies and gentlemen, have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up, always help. And I will see you next time. Bye.